everybody from Disney Springs. Uh, tonight we had the idea we're going to go try the Earl of Sandwich for dinner. Uh, we've heard lots of good things from uh, friends and different Facebook groups about the Earl of Sandwich. Uh, we want to go ahead and check this out, take you guys along with us, maybe do like a food review. We'll see how it is. And we'll go take a little trip around Disney Springs. We'll see what kind of stores we can get in before the uh, Disney Springs closes. Let's go check this out. So here's the uh, menu they have outdoors for the uh, Earl of Sandwich. It says the world's greatest hot sandwich. So let's check this out really quick before we head on in and order our food. Looks like they have a lot of great dishes. It says online they have uh, broccoli and cheese soup and chicken tortilla. I hope they do. I definitely love to try one of them. And maybe this uh, holiday turkey sandwich. I just want to give you guys a quick view of what the offerings that they have here. Got some breakfast. Breakfast is served until 11 a.m. Yep, okay, breakfast till 11 a.m. Let's head on in and we'll see what we order. Thank you. So we went with the uh, broccoli cheddar soup. That sounds so good. And again, here's some of the offerings inside. Everything just smells so good in here. Cold beverages, they have different freshly made sides here. Mediterranean pasta salads. They have uh, different fruit. Looks like Brandy's gonna get one of those. Everything looks so fresh here. And they even have uh, some offerings from Carlos Bake Shop in Hoboken, which actually isn't too far from our hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, I saw that, the black and white cookies. Absolutely love them. Yeah, check that out, Carlos Bake Shop. You guys know him from the Cake Boss on TV, but again, their sweets are so, so good. Here's some of the cakes here from the uh, Cake Boss here, Earl of Sandwich presents. They have the chocolate fudge slice cake for $10.95, the rainbow cake slice for $10.95, red velvet cake slice $10.95, and the black and white cookie for $3.95. Like, look how nicely packed these sandwiches are. I ended up going with the holiday turkey. Brandy got the Italian. We have the broccoli cheese soup. And you got tomato soup, right, honey? Yep. And we got our fruit cup. Let's check this out and see how it is. Again, this is our first time trying this. Okay, so let's try the uh, broccoli cheese soup. We'll see how that is. It's very good. It's very creamy. I like it a lot. I got this small little cup full. I believe it was somewhere around three dollars and fifty cents, maybe. Yep, three fifty. Yep, three dollars and fifty cents. Very good. So I absolutely love the broccoli cheddar soup. Brandy had the uh, tomato soup. You said that was the best tomato soup you ever had, right, honey? Very cool. And this here is the holiday turkey sandwich. It's turkey, cornbread stuffing, mayonnaise, and cranberry sauce, which I got on the side. I can't wait to try this. Like, I've never had anything like this before. Okay, here we go. Absolutely delicious. It's very good. Okay, so we just left the Earl of Sandwich. They absolutely delivered. The food there was top notch, very good, at a reasonable price for Disney Springs. We had two soups, two sodas, a fruit cup, and uh, Brandy and I both had a sandwich. It came to $35, so not so bad for Disney Springs. Let's go ahead into Disney Springs a little further, and I think we're gonna try the ganachery and see what type of uh, Easter desserts they have. Let's go check it out. Check out the cute little train ride they have here for the kids. It has a tiny little track, but it's still on all. Like it's something cute for the kids to do. Good little horses over here, but yeah, that's really neat. And the trees are so pretty at night. They have little lights in there that twinkle. Like check that out. It's absolutely beautiful tonight. Earlier before it was 93 degrees, but now it's nice and cool. There's a little breeze. So beautiful tonight. Choo-choo! 
<laughs> we just made our way into the Arepas Brothers store here. They have like these wands, roses, little skulls like Cinderella slipper, the carriage like these genie lamps, and apples. You can pick your different crystals that you want. These are basically just like a hollow shell and you can fill your wands and so on with different colored crystals and they looks like they have like mix and match like a big bowl of all multicolored and you can kind of just make them however you like them like i think that's a great gift idea something really nice to take home check out that tinkerbell isn't that awesome wow 6900 but that's really neat and check out dumbo down here like how cool is that i absolutely love that Looks like they have some more colors over here that you can choose from. These are called Build Your Own Crystal Wish Keepers. You can also get a silhouette portrait done here. $10 for a single, $20 for a double, $30 for a triple, and $40 for a quad. These are kind of what, like what they look like right here. The oval frame is $12. Mickey icon frame is $15. Like check that one out. That one's really neat. So we just made our way over to the Swarovski section here. Check out this Beauty and the Beast one with all the Swarovski crystals. That's amazing. Look at that babe. $14,000. Wow. I wish you could see through the camera how like... Sparkly. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Then they have the Enchanted Rose here for $160. And oh, look at that. Glass slipper. glass slipper with a rose for $149. Very pretty. They even have like Mickey hands. I didn't see that one over there, honey. That was over when we came in. That's very cool. You could fill those up with the crystals as well. Look at the parrot over there. He's cool. I like this Anna over here. Oh yeah, how pretty. They have a Christmas tree looking thing here of blown glass balls. Check that out. These are so pretty. The time that it takes to make stuff like this, absolutely amazing. We just made our way outside of the Lego store. They'll always have uh, various characters that they have pretty much in life-size Legos. Check out this Chewbacca. Like how many bricks that must take? It's probably seven or eight feet tall. Over here we have Kylo Ren. And behind there we have a Stormtrooper. We have Ray back there. These are so neat. They have some more over the other side. Let's go check them. And our favorite at the bunch here at the Lego store definitely would have to be the Sorcerer Mickey. We absolutely love this. But we love Sorcerer Mickey. So cool. Check out how beautiful this is at night. Look, we even have the balloon in the background there. A couple clouds in the sky. It doesn't get much better than this. And over here we have the paddlefish. Just the pretty lights at night. The palm trees. It's so beautiful. On our way over to the Ganachery, there's a great photo up here. Famous Florida citrus with the orange bird. How cute is that? Absolutely beautiful. So we just made our way over to the Ampa cars. I definitely wanted to show you guys this in case you haven't seen it before. They're basically vehicles that go on both land and in the water. They have these at Disney Springs over by the boathouse. They're absolutely amazing. I definitely suggest trying these. Uh, Brandy and I are definitely going to in the future. They have a different, couple different colors here. They have a white one, they have a red one, and a blue one over there. They're really neat. They kind of look like classic cars. And it launches right down here. Oh, perfect. It looks like we have a couple that are getting ready to uh, ride the Ampa car. Let's watch this Ampa car take off right into the water, guys. <laughs> How crazy cool is that? That is so awesome. 
And again, that's right here by the Boathouse restaurant. I actually, I believe if you eat at the Boathouse and show your receipt, you get a discount on the Amphicars. Right, so if you get dinner at the Boathouse and you want to ride the Amphicars, you're going to get a discount. That's really cool. And right next door here, we have live music going on. beautiful as Disney Springs at night. Right over this way, Ev, we have the uh, hot air balloon going back up again. Like, that's so awesome. Absolutely love it. So yeah, we're gonna head on over to the uh, ganachery now and try to find some type of an Easter dessert. I'm excited. We've never had anything from here before. Looks like we have a little bit of a line here. But here's the uh, ganachery. We'll see you guys inside. All right, let's head on into the ganachery. We'll see what they have. Hi, Brian. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at that. This must be them right here. Very neat. What are these? Milk chocolate sphere filled with marshmallow treats. Wow, milk chocolate sphere with marshmallow treats. Those are $28. The chocolate popsicle. Oh, they're Mickey Mouse. Those are cute. Those are $6.50. Strawberry ganache. Chocolate pop. Milk chocolate ganache pop? That's a Minnie Mouse one for $6.50. Oh, yeah, they got Millennium Falcons over there for $7. Check out the creamy milk chocolate Mickey Mouse ones. And then you have raspberry, coconut, Egyptian sea salt. Cinnamon, coffee, chipotle pepper, orange, and caramel. Oh, they all look so good. How do you pick one? The ganachery, individual pieces are three dollars, a box of six, sixteen, a box of nine for twenty-two, and a box of sixteen for thirty-eight. They are cute. What are you going with there, honey? Oh. The uh, mini Milk mouse. Pop. Yeah, Milk that looks really good. Ganache. Milk chocolate ganache. So at the ganachery, we went with the milk chocolate mini mouse uh, ganache pop. We're really excited to uh, try this one. We've never tried anything from uh, the ganachery before. On our way out of the ganachery, they gave us a flavor reference card. It gives you like which different flavors they have and so on. Like uh, coconut, caramel, chipotle pepper, cinnamon, coffee, the dark chocolate, and so on. So let's try this, honey. So Brandy really likes it so far. It's really good. Let's try it. Oh my. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. That is absolutely delicious. This might be the best chocolate I think I've ever had. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's something else. That's very, very good. I would highly recommend the ganache. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. If there wasn't a long line, I'd probably go back in and get another one. Good thing we'll be coming back to Disney Springs to go for dinner this week. Mm -hmm. Very good, the ganache. So we had a great night tonight in Disney Springs. It was our first time trying the Earl of Sandwich. The food was absolutely fantastic. We are definitely highly recommend it. Go back again. We got to see the Ampa cars, a beautiful sunset tonight. We did the ganachery for the first time. Again, something we definitely plan on going back to. Tonight was just a great night of new things at Disney Springs for us. We had a great time. If you like today's video, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification, give it a big thumbs up, and as always, make today awesome.